Melbourne Stars won the toss and off to bowl first. Melbourne Stars playing 11. Marcus Stoinis, Nick Maddinson, Nick Larkin, Glenn Maxwell, Peter Henscombe, Seb Gotch, Clint Hincliffe, Adam Zampa, Daniel Wurrell, Lance Morris, Sandeep Lamachain. Adelaide Strikers playing 11. Philip Salt, Jake Weatherald, Travis Head, Alex Carey, Matt Short, Jonathan Wells, Michael Nesser, Rashid Khan, Peter Siddle, Wes Agar, Billy Stanlake. Strikers topple stars for second time in BBL 9. Adelaide Strikers stay in contention for double chance on the back of Jono Wells' half-century and Peter Siddle's superb bowling performance. Strikers seize second place in tight finals race by beating front-running stars for second time in BBL 09 the score. Adelaide Strikers 4 to 162, Wells 55 no, Carey 33, Short 23 not out, Hinkliffe 3 to 19, defeated Melbourne Stars 8 to 151, Hanscombe 65 not out, Siddle 4 to 33, Agar 2 to 30, by 11 runs. The hero. John Wells has established himself as the most reliable and versatile element of Adelaide Strikers' top order batting, and his unbeaten 55 from 36 balls this evening was perhaps the most important knock of his most productive BBL season. Arriving at the crease with his team 3-51 and battling to generate any momentum, Wells was typically unfazed and belted four boundaries, as well as two sixes, as he carried the Strikers to a competitive total that had for the first half of their innings appeared out of reach. The 31-year-old has now topped 400 runs for BBL 09, placing him among the top echelon of batters in this campaign. The support cast. Wes Agar began BBL 09 as an auxiliary member of Adelaide Strikers seam attack. But as the third leading wicket taker behind Rashid Khan and Peter Siddle, Agar was called to the bowling crease as the Stars batter looked to impose themselves on the game. Despite being crashed for four and six by Glenn Maxwell, the 22-year-old claimed the vital wickets of Maxwell and Nick Larkin, he might also have added Stars captain Peter Hanscom, but for a tight LBW call. The consolation act. Left-arm orthodox spinner Clint Hinkliffe would have happily star billing behind the Stars' higher-profile tweakers Adam Zampa, Sandy Plamachain and Glenn Maxwell. However, the 23-year-old stole the limelight when brought into the spin-based attack immediately after the power play. In the space of three overs he dismissed Adelaide Strikers Big 3 Travis Head, Jake Weatherald and Alex Carey to pocket the best bowling figures of his 11-game BBL career, 3-19 from three overs. The Heavy Heart. Following the death of his close friend, the former Australia and Victoria women's cricket representative Tammy Foster, Glenn Maxwell chose to forego captaincy duties, which were assumed by his senior Stars teammate, Peter Hanscombe. But Maxwell's influence remained as potent as ever from the moment he took the ball for the second over of his team's innings. He claimed the vital wicket of Phil Salton over after the strikers opener had thrashed four consecutive boundaries from seamer Daniel Wurrell and finished with 1-19 from his four overs, he then threatened to take hold of the game of the bat, thumping a boundary and a six from consecutive deliveries before he holed out to extra cover for 19 off 16 balls. The stand-in skipper. With Maxwell standing down from leadership duties in somber circumstances, Peter Hanscombe stepped into the role just a day after stepping off the plane from India with Australia's Menzoti team. Hanscombe showed signs of having played little competitive cricket over the past few weeks, but with the Stars facing a near-hopeless task, he found his groove to blast 41 from his final 16 balls to finish unbeaten on 65. The catch. If Adelaide was going to successfully defend their 162, they needed to dismiss the tournament's leading scorer and standout batter, Marcus Stoinis, before he could inflict significant damage. When Stoinis, on five, miscued an attempted flick over square leg the ball hung for seconds in the night sky, along with the home team's early hopes. Phil Salt haired back from his position at mid on inside the inner circle and covered around 25 meters at full sprint before clutching the catch that brought the crowd to its feet. The over. Under thick cloud and cool conditions that seemed destined to favor bowlers, Adelaide's opening pair found scoring almost impossible against a star's spin and seam in the first two overs, which yielded just five runs. However, come the third, from swing bowler Daniel Wurrell, UK import Phil Salt decided something had to give, and he peppered the boundary to post four consecutive fours, all clubbed through the leg side, to give the strikers innings a pulse.the spin. Adelaide opted to go pace heavy and omitted leg spinner Liam O'Connor in favor of towering quick Billy Stanlake. But it became clear in from the start of their innings that a lack of pace on the ball loomed as a key. With four specialist spinners in their lineup including Maxwell who shared the new ball the Stars were able to exert crucial pressure and claim early wickets. 
The stars even opted to employ part-time spinner Nick Maddinson for an over, with the quick sending down just a quarter of the star's 20-over allocation. It was the first time in BBL history a team has delivered 15 overs of spin. The next stops. Already assured of finishing atop the ladder, Melbourne Stars' last hit out prior to finals comes against the mercurial Brisbane Heat at the MCG on Saturday. Adelaide Strikers' next assignment is in Perth against the fourth-placed Scorchers on Friday. Let's call it in the crossfire. <laughs>